Good afternoon, everyone. It's Monday and I'm here for part five of this furniture makeover. So I would just wanna say thank you for popping on here with me for the next few minutes. Um, we are streaming live from Facebook and YouTube and Instagram. So if it looks like I'm looking all around and ignoring you, please know I'm not ignoring you. I am just seeing if there's any instant questions that I should re, you know, get to right away. Thank you already for the thumbs up on YouTube. I appreciate you guys. Um, I thought I might come on here yesterday. That was my plan. Um, family things and house things and it ended up being a beautiful day in Oklahoma, which we needed so badly. Um, so it was one of those days where we just took, a, took care of a ton of little house things. Um, but I'm here for it today. So part five is this carousel dresser makeover, you guys. Um, howdy, everybody. Hi, there are a ton of my friends popping on here. And there's, hi, bub. <laughs> so guys, I want to scoot this back first off. Nope, is it gonna go back? No, it's not. Those are lies, Dion. I'm gonna scoot you back here then because I wanna make sure you can see everything. Okay, so just to catch you up to date, especially for those of you that are just now popping on here for the very first time, my name is Dion Woods and I'm the owner at the Turquoise Iris. Um, all of my hand-painted furniture art, my tutorials, my creative connection, um, all of that can be found at theturquoiseiris.com. Um, I have started a, ward, uh, started a dresser for you guys and I'm kind of painting it step by step. We're on part five. So we did the cleanup and then we did the base. And so we're just now on part four, we started the second coat, which um, we blended in some old 57 DIY paint from Debbie's Design Diary. These are the sample jars. Um, this is the paint that I use. It's my go-to favorite. If you're looking for a boho finish, a blended, a layered, something with some personality, this is my go-to paint. This is what I go to. Um, I started with the exact same colors that I did on a huge wardrobe a few weeks ago. And the reason being is I wanted to show you guys how you could still take all of those paint colors that you bought for a makeover, you have all these little colors left, and how you can combine those exact same colors and get a different look. Now, I had a person on Instagram send me a message and say, all of it looks the same. So I decided that her eye was not as sharp as mine because all I could see was how different all of it was. Um, but the goal is to actually tell you all and show you all how to use the exact same colors and get a different look. So yes, um, we're on part five. The first color was red. All right, first color was red and then I sealed it with a clear wax because I wanna make sure that when this entire piece is finished, that in all these little cracks and grooves, you're gonna see that little bit of red, okay? And so then we will bring it back in at the finished product as well. Um, then I added, see right here, we're a step behind on this section over here, whereas this section is a step ahead. So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna make this section look closer to this section, and then we're gonna start layering in a whole bunch more colors. So I have all of these up here, um, the darkest one being Bohemian Blue, and the lightest and brightest one being Queen Bee. Um, if you need a list of colors, get on my mailing list because I always send out a color recipe with all the colors and waxes and all the supplies. I also do, um, Oh, Diane Johnson, no worries, no worries. I I don't know, I, I, don't, I don't know. So why people say weird things, but it's okay. Um, okay, so this is Summer Crush, which is our orange. You see that's kind of a burnt orange? Um, burnt orange and our queen bee, those are the two colors. And um, like these three right here, these are the three I started with because if you're wanting to have a um, just some warm undertones kind of pull up through, especially if you love doing blues, if you like finishing with blues, it's really fun to have one of these colors underneath because A, because of the contrast, but it really pulls a really happy warm tone. And I say happy because I don't know, that sounds kind of lame, but I just want you to know that colors make me happy. So that's why I say it like that. So right now I'm gonna start blending in some more of the um, Old 57, which is like the truest of true turquoises, like that old Chevy pickup that you know you like, grandpa cruising around on a sunny day, that's the one we're after. So I'm gonna layer that over the Summer Crush. I'm gonna lightly dampen with a fine misting spray. Um, 
I'm going to lightly mist over that so it's going to activate the colors. They're going to blend a little bit, which is exactly what we're after because we don't want, I don't want a clean, perfect finish. I don't have any use for that or time for that. I am so um, flawed and imperfect that I prefer my furniture to be that way as well. You don't believe me, just ask my kids. Bye, sweetheart. All right, so let's get, where is the brush we're looking for? Is this it? Yeah, here we go. So these clever little mixing bowls that I have up here, this clever little mixing bowl is handmade by my girl, Abby, um, and she's with uh, the Colorist Concept. You guys, she makes these beautiful hand, what do you call it if you're a ceramic person? A hand, oh gosh, I sound like a ding dong. Um, anyway, I get these mixing bowls from her and she's fairly new and just rocking it out. I'm super proud of her. But I find myself carrying those mixing bowls all over the place and have my brushes in them or have them full of water and everything. So, you guys, one, don't worry about this line right here. Do not worry about this line. We are not worried about that because we're getting ready to go back with our cowgirl coral and blend that in. If you work your paint too much, you're gonna end up pulling it up, pulling it off, and it's just gonna look tacky. And then you're gonna get upset, and if you're anything like me, you might cry. Now don't put enough water on here where it drips. We're not after that yet. We may do some drips, but we're not doing that right now. We're getting a, we're getting a smooth, blended look right now. Everybody's having a good day, good Monday. We went, had two, two games at the ballpark earlier, and so that's why I'm just now getting to this now. The beauty of this job, it allows me to go to baseball games and still get some work in. All right, so while this is wet right here on the edge, I'm actually going to grab my cowgirl coral and add some back in right here. Maybe, 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 maybe. Where's the coral? Where's the coral? There's no coral. We've got cowgirl coral. It's a warm coral. It's like there's a, it's not really bright. It's almost like there's some brown in it. So that's why I think it's called that cowgirl. It's like a boot brown. Boot coral, I meant to say. Gosh, you get me on a camera and I say dumb things. Um, Facebook, if you don't mind erasing that for me, I would love you forever. All right, so I'm gonna miss this right here, just right in the center, and I'm gonna get that line of turquoise to blend a little bit better. You can always spray water on your brush if you prefer. I just go for it right here on the, right here on the piece of furniture. You know it's serious when you've got two brushes, right? You've got two brushes, you know we're doing some magic over here. Guys, don't you don't want to run away yet because we're getting ready to add in some yellow. It gets serious when you add yellow every time. It gets serious. I have a furniture class coming up this weekend with people coming all over the country to hang out with me and a couple of my friends, Debbie Beard from Debbie's Design Diary and Josie Siefker, who is the owner of this brush company. Um, they're gonna come out and hang and we're gonna paint. I'm getting so excited because I know there are some of you watching right now that I'm gonna get to see and meet even for the very first time. Um, we have people, I'm in Oklahoma City. We have people coming from Florida, California, driving from Michigan, um, all over 
sure. I'm just so excited. I love this part. I, it's, I was on the phone today with Debbie and I said, I really, I, I've got to where I enjoy that in-person classes almost more than anything else. Because I love getting to meet you guys and just hanging out with fellow creatives that enjoy painting. It's nice here, but you don't talk. I can't hear you. Right? I can't hear you. Okay, now it's still wet. It's gonna be splotchy because um, the DIY paint especially, it's very porous, so it holds a lot of moisture, but it also evaporates really, really quickly. Kimberly, is it your birthday? If it's your birthday, happy birthday. If I missed it, it was yesterday. But I know I saw you in my feed, so happy birthday. I would sing you a song now, but I'm not feeling all that confident, so it's not my day or your day, but it is your day. Whoop, whoop. Um, thank you for the thumbs up on YouTube. I still get nervous on, on YouTube, so I appreciate your thumbs up. Um, let's go for the yellow, ladies, gentlemen. Let's do it. Let's do it. Hopefully there's some in here. Yes. Some of the other questions I've received, what brushes I use, Paint Pixie. Um, I use DIY Paint from Debbie's Design Diary. Um, yes, I have a group. You have heard right. It is a creative group for creatives, mostly painters. It's called the Creative Connection, and I actually open up July 1st for new members. So we have 420 or so uh, women, two men, thank you. And um, we'll be opening up on uh, July 1st and 2nd for new members. It's $26 a month. And, um, well, we talk about all things paint. We talk about Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. Gosh, we talk about more than that. We talk about encouraging each other, lifting each other up, being positive, and being a role model for other people and being helpful. We do challenges where I'll say, okay, your next challenge is to paint something with turquoise. You do it however you want. And so we just, then we, the, the people in the group pick their favorites. And I give free paint out. Actually, our member Karen Roussel from the Noble Willow won a free ticket to my class this Saturday. So she's coming from Texas and gets to come to the class for free because she won and her, her teammates voted for her. Or not her teammates. The people in the group voted for her, so it makes it pretty special when you special when you're you win from you know when you've been voted on by your peers. So we do a lot of different things in the group, but feel free to ever message me, you can email me if you have questions about that. Guys, we are still in the rough stages right now, like rough. We are still not to where. I mean, obviously, I haven't even done the top for you. We'll probably go ahead and do the top next. Um, I'm gonna tilt the camera down a little bit because I want you to see this bottom section right here. Okay, sorry for my hand being in the way. Um, Someone said to me, how in the world are you streaming on three devices and talking and painting all at the same time? By the grace of God. I don't know. By the grace. Lord, give me grace. That's what I say. And try not to make a total fool of yourself. That's what I say. Please 
don't make a total full. Because I just about put my hair deep, deep, deep in this jar of red paint. Tie your hair back, woman. It's all about just kind of playing around, you guys, and layer colors. And the good news is, this paint is so versatile. You don't have to be a professional painter, a professional artist of any kind. Anybody can use it. We actually have a Saturday morning kids paint in puppet show. And I try to teach children that they can use DIY paint and it can get on their hands. And it's very, it's just, there's no VOCs. It's an all natural. There's literally only nine ingredients in the paint. So there's nothing crazy, freaky, scary in it. And personally, that's important to me. Um, I have two very sensitive smellers in my, in my house. So they get headaches with strong smells. And so um, having all the furniture inside like I do, um, they were very sensitive. But once I started using DIY, we did not have those issues anymore. So that gives me a lot of flexibility as well. Now you guys see that that's splotchy and messy. It looks, but it's part of the process. So please just trust me. Please hang in there with me. Please, 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 please hang in there with me. That is all just part of the process. Someone asked me, sent me a, dir a direct message and asked how long I'd been painting furniture. So the first time I painted a piece of furniture, I was 12. And my mom gave me one option. She gave me a dresser and says it's new. It was like a bare wood furniture place. Do you remember when those places were real big, bare wood furniture? I think that was literally the name of it. Anybody else go to bare wood? So she was giving me like this chest of drawers and she said, yes, this is how I'm distressing with my petty knife. Um, but that's because I'm letting that dry so I can continue to layer. We are not leaving it like that. She said, you can pick one color. And I'm like, okay, um, probably turquoise. She said, wrong answer, white. You can pick white. So I had to paint it white and the knobs white. But that was the first time I painted a piece of furniture, thanks to my mama. but doing it professionally was probably eight years ago. And I asked my sister-in-law, can I take your pieces of furniture out of your living room and practice them? And she let me. She was like, yep, they'll look better no matter what, because they'll be better than now. So I took them home, painted on them, and um, made them, tried to, tried to make them look new again. Restained the top of them. Etsy was an opportunity that really saved me. Etsy, when I opened my Etsy shop, they really, really, really gave me an opportunity um, to sell online. And that's really when the opportunity started to unfold. And I realized I could ship furniture. We're just pulling off a few of the top layers right now, guys, before we add more. I want you to picture a fair or a carnival in France. I've never been there, but I'm going to Paris in October. I want you to picture that, and I want you to picture like the carousels going around. And I want you to picture that they're old and that they've been there, but they have given happiness to so many happy writers, children, teens, women, men, and that's what we're after. That's what we're after with this piece. Now I'm doing this while I'm letting some of this paint set up. And when I do this, I'm pulling off the top layer. I can still actually see my original color, which under the blue was the Summer Crush. We're gonna use um, a 
copper here and where all of the hardware is and we're gonna drip our copper. So it looks as if the hardware on an old carousel that's been outside has, is dripping, okay? It's rusting. That's what we're gonna do there. How do you clean your paint pixie brushes? We offer a soap. Um, they have uh, charcoal soaps. Those are absolutely wonderful. They smell heavenly. Actually, they're really good for skincare too. Um, I, when I'm gonna be using them the very next day or later on in the day, I just put them in a baggie and stick them in the refrigerator. Um, but I only, only do that for about two days and then I go ahead and wash them. All right, so let's pull in just a little bit of Bohemian Blue before we go today. Bohemian Blue is just what you would think. It's a very dark teal. You're like, oh no girl, that's a mess. Girl, what are you doing? That's a mess. <laughs> Don't worry. Don't worry. Trust me. Yes, I want all the colors showing through on this. wet distressing while we are actually blending the paint in. I know you can't see close up, but that looks really good. I'm just, just trust me. When I'm done with all of my projects, I always post a lot of photos on YouTube under community tab and then also on Facebook and Instagram. But I need you to trust me, this is really good right here. It's darker than what it would be, but when it dries, Mwah. Okay. Yeah. That's good. I like it. Sometimes you never know. Sometimes you never know. All right, you guys, that was part five. Let's come back tomorrow. Um, tomorrow we may work on the front um, or on the top. I haven't decided. Um, Um, Terry, sometimes I show the wood too. Sometimes it goes all the way through to the wood. And just reading your quick questions. If I missed your question, I apologize. It's because there's three of you and I'm obviously talking and painting at the same time. If I said something wrong, said something dumb, give me grace. I apologize. Um, I am about as perfect as my pieces of furniture. So, um, you guys be awesome. There's four little girls that just pulled up in a golf cart. I think I know who they're here to see. So this mama bear is going to pop off here and check in us at the door. All right. And when I say little, I mean like 13, 14. Okay. All right. You guys, thanks for being here. You guys go be awesome.